Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant. Power to come on out of the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomot. You already know that I'm upset. Miami lost today. Blew their chance to control their own destiny. So we shall see. But I just came across something that I didn't know about. And it seems like it popped like a month ago. And I just saw it. And I, I am, I'm, I'm actually floored by this because I haven't seen it really talked about. Maybe, maybe people did, and I missed it. But Paige Beckers is getting a sneaker before Caitlin Clark. Nike is dropping a sneaker for Paige Beckers before Caitlin Clark. Before we jump in, thank you so much for your continued support of this channel. Greatly appreciate you. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow, ring that bell. Become a member. Membership live on uh, Tuesday at 9 p.m. So become a member today. <clears throat> I'm I'm floored by this. I'm floored by this. I, I I'm I I have no words. I honestly have no words for this. I. I had no idea about this, and I just saw it pop up on my Facebook timeline, and I'm like, what? Is Nike really disrespecting Caitlin Clark like this to where they're dropping a sneaker for a college player before they drop her sneaker after her rookie season has already been completed? in the WNBA as a rookie of the year and first team all WNBA and fourth in WNBA MVP voting and breaking the record for all time assists <clears throat> and leading the league in assists and finishing sixth or seventh in scoring and leading in the end of the playoffs. The reported date is December 7th that they're going to release Paige Becker's X Nike GT Hustle 3. And the price of this shoe is set to be $190. Good luck selling a Paige Becker sneaker for $190. But how the fuck? Is Caitlin Clark not having a sneaker dropped before Paige Beckers? I, 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 you can't make this up. This is this is utterly flabbergasting to me. I saw a post, and where I saw it on Facebook was people were talking about calls to mount boycott as Caitlin Clark gets ignored for Paige Beckers. Ahead of historic release, tensions are rising among Caitlin Clark fans as Nike announced a historic signature shoe for the UConn star Paige Beckers, but left the WNBA Rookie of the Year without her promised sneaker. Beckers' Nike GT Hustle 3, releasing on December 7th, makes her the first college basketball player to achieve this milestone. Meanwhile, the Indiana Fever's Clark... <coughs> whose record-breaking rookie season elevated jersey sales by 500% remains sidelined in the signature shoe spotlight. Frustrated fans are calling for a Nike boycott, accusing the brand of overlooking one of the most marketable female athletes. With Adidas reportedly eyeing Clark, Nike risks losing a loyal fan base if it doesn't act with me. I'll tell you right now, if I'm Caitlin Clark, I'm firing my agents. I'm firing my agents. Whoever represents her is an utter buffoon. Completely clueless. And I know people have talked about this and the fact that her agents don't seem to have any idea what they're doing. <laughs> but she's signing, a, she signed an undervalued deal. Nike's put out nothing for Caitlin Clark. The one player whose sneaker would probably sell off the shelves as fast as Jordan's would, and you're not 
releasing a sneaker for her and it takes too long and it's this or it's that. You can design a goddamn sneaker in fucking a day. You can have it ready to freaking be made and put out, put out for sale in a month. But apparently now for Nike, it takes too long to drop a Caitlin Clark shoe when we drop literally another pair of Jordans every single day. <clears throat> every day, there's a new pair of retro Jordans that come out. Every day. They're always dropping. They got time for that. And I'm not saying they shouldn't. Jordans sell big. But Paige Beckers? She's still in college. Caitlin Clark has just spent the last year, last six months, whatever, changing the dynamic of women's basketball in the WNBA. Has people watching even college basketball, even though she's not there, to where we're paying attention to attendance and ratings because – we want to compare to see how it does comparison to last season in women's college basketball. We already know it's not close. But this is mad disrespectful. This is this is insanely disrespectful. I don't understand how this is even who thought this made sense. Who thought this made sense? I'm floored by this. It seems like apparently they're supposed to drop these sneakers on September 12th, and that's been pushed back to December 7th. And still, you're putting out a shoe for a college player for 190 bucks. I, I, wow. Wow. This is ridiculous, folks. I'm going to tell you right this. Caitlin Clark fans should be boycotting Nike. Fuck Nike. And Caitlin Clark should fire her agents, and she should find some new agents and lawyers to get her out of her Nike deal. Get her out of the Nike deal and get Adidas to take care of her. <clears throat> because Nike ain't, ain't working. Nike's not working for Caitlin Clark. This is absolutely crazy. It doesn't take six months to design a sneaker. And you damn sure don't make someone else the face and get a sneaker for them before the actual face of your sport. It, this is Nike acting like another one of these woke leftist level fucking organizations. One of these woke leftist organizations that go out of their way to demean Caitlin Clark. Why'd you sign her? Why'd you sign her if this is how you were going to treat her? I don't get it. You type in Caitlin Clark right now. No bullshit. You type in Caitlin Clark. You want to know what the first thing that shows up is in Nike? I'll show you. That's Sabrina Ionescu t-shirt. That's a Sabrina Ionescu jersey. That's a Sabrina Ionescu jersey. This is a Caitlin Clark search. 96 for Caitlin Clark. And I got three items of Sabrina Ionescu coming before Caitlin Clark. And this is the t-shirt they made for Caitlin Clark. This bullshit. WNBA Rookie of the Year. This is the bullshit they made for the for the woman who's changed basketball. I I Get the fuck out of here. This is embarrassing. A kid's jersey, a t-shirt, a t-shirt, a hoodie, an all-star t-shirt. Are these, these are women's jerseys because a man can't wear these jerseys the way I'm looking at. These look like women's jerseys. Oh, I'm sorry. Who's number six? Aaliyah Boston. A, a, a Caitlin Clark search brings up Aaliyah Boston, Kelsey Mitchell, Kelsey Mitchell, Kelsey Mitchell. Random towel, trucker hat, an Iowa kid's jersey, 
random Indiana shit that's not Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark's name pulls up a bunch of shit that isn't even Caitlin Clark. This is disrespectful as fuck. This is this is next level disrespectful. I'm curious. Do it right in front of you. Paige Beckers. That brings up, I don't even know what the hell this crap is. <clears throat> Folks, if you're if you're a Caitlin Clark fan, don't buy Nike shit. Don't buy Nike shit. This is disrespectful. It's not surprising, and it's continued throughout the entirety of the season. She should fire everybody, hire new people, and get the hell out of that Nike contract. Because Nike is not building her brand. They're tearing it down. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. This is Rudy's rant. Facts of her feelings. Come on now.